Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty and today the 10-0 Minnesota State Mavericks are on the road for the first time in a while taking on the UMass Minutemen in a oddly enough Big Ten matchup. I put these guys in the Big Ten this year if you guys haven't been paying attention uh, just so I could even out the conferences and try and get a East and a West team to get involved and UMass seemed to fit the bill as far as East but maybe not like prestige wise I guess it's like the same thing as like throwing Rutgers in the Big Ten but if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys drop a like if you're new to the channel at all hit that subscribe button down below uh, we're gonna take a look here at I mean we don't really have to go over recruiting if you guys been paying attention throughout this whole series you guys for at least this season you guys would know who we got already and uh, what we're kind of playing with so we're gonna get towards the big stuff the top 25 polls uh, we don't have anybody left to recruit, so that's why I don't want to really like, go over it. Because we've been done for the past few weeks now. Uh, so Michigan State still number one. We're still number two. Three through ten is South Carolina, Oklahoma, or LSU, Oklahoma, FAU, uh, Wisconsin, Stanford, Air Force, and welcome to the top ten Old Dominion. This is interesting, guys. I I don't think I've ever seen a weird, more weird top twenty-five than this one. Like Florida Atlantic is weird enough but then you add old dominion in there and both of them are a conference usa team i don't know i can't remember which side i think old dominion's on like they're both in separate conferences so wait till those two teams play in their respective conference championships that's gonna be nuts uh 11 through 20 is arkansas texas florida clemson north carolina ucf navy southern miss colorado and ucla uh, 21 to 25 is Auburn, Virginia, Florida State, Georgia, and Purdue. Uh, other receiving votes go to Washington State, New Mexico, Oregon, Texas A&M, Fresno State, Ole Miss, and Houston. Um, so we got a lot of interesting teams still going out and about in the top 25. Conference standings look like this. Um, we're 10 and 0, 7 and 0 in the conference. Wisconsin's starting to pick things back up after they uh, had a 4 and 3 start. Purdue's been really good. Minnesota's been eh. Iowa has one more game left to continue for bull eligibility, uh, but they've been kind of eh. Um, Illinois been pretty. They've been solid. They've been above average this year, I will say. Uh, Northwestern and Nebraska have been at the bottom of the barrel. Um, Michigan State, top tier team. They're really good. They're really good defensively and really good offensively. They're getting, so they're scoring over 40 points a game on offense and giving up less than 20 points a game on defense. That's incredible. Um, Penn State's been pretty good in conference. Michigan's been average. So has Ohio State. Um, Indiana's been okay or below average. Rutgers has been hanging around five and five, 500 at least. Maryland's been pretty bad, and so has UMass. UMass is probably one of the worst teams in the in the whole country, offensively at least. They they're only scoring about 12 and a half points a game, so yeah, I'm not so sure about that one, man. Um, this should be another blowout victory for us, at least. But as overall picture of the Big Ten, it looks like we got it all on lockdown of who we're gonna play in the Big Ten championship. Because there's no one, there's no one else within a two game. If if Michigan State and Minnesota State win today, it's a lock for the it's a lock for the Big Ten championship. So that's at least that. Even if Michigan State loses one, or if we lose one, and then we win the next one, or whatever, if we win one, lose one, we still are a lock for the Big Ten championship. Heisman watch. I'm pretty sure Aiden Cooper is at the top of the list now after scoring eight touchdowns by himself last week. 475 yards passing and 104 rushing yards. He was lighting it up. Corey Wilson still behind us in the polls. He's been kind of struggling lately. Uh, Tony Wesley's been pretty good for North Carolina. Uh, Mark Glover, pretty good running back for Stanford. And then uh, Kyle McKinney for Texas. Not a bad player. Um, he's he was a, he's a good scrambling quarterback. I mean, he's, got, he's averaging, uh, last game he has almost 200 yards passing and 134 yards rushing so I mean he's kind of a split kind of two-way player um, kind of way like he's good on the run he's a dual threat quarterback so um, award finalists 
and we don't really need to go over that. Bull projections as of right now. As of right now, it has us top two teams, Michigan State and Minnesota State, in the national championship, but that's gonna change. That's that's gonna change like as soon as the Big Ten championship happens. I mean, if we end up going back to back and facing each other in the Big Ten, in the Big Ten championship and the national championship, that'd be insane. I don't. I doubt that'll happen though. I doubt it. One of these two teams is gonna win. So, with that being said, of course, let's take on UMass in possibly the biggest cakewalk of the season. I will see you guys on the field. Nani? They're going to receive the kickoff. They never do that. Okay. They're gonna receive the kickoff. They, uh, they're mad lads. Wow. They either have a lot of confidence or they're just really stupid. We're about to find out, I guess. These guys are stupid. What are they thinking? What is their thought process behind this? I don't know who's covering that, that tight end, but... There's no reason for that gain of 12. Oh, it's intercepted. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be a disaster. Kenyon Wright. This team is so bad. I don't think I've ever seen a team worse than this. This team is awful. Intercepted again. <laughs> oh my god, this is a joke, dude. Wow. Oh, wow, dude. Just wow. Oh, Alex Sanders. What a beast. Oh, Joel Davis, touchdown. Wow. <laughs> Here we go, man. Here we go. Five of eight for nine, 18 yards. Five of nine for 18 yards. Tackle, come on. Dude, this guy's garbage. What is this? This team is... That's what I'm talking about right there, Tyrell. That's hot stuff. Oh, nice hit. Jaden Griffin gained a 16. They think they're gonna get it. They think they're gonna get it easy, man. They got another thing coming. Although I will admit, this corner that Jaden is being covered by is a pretty sure tackle. Kelvin Wiggins, what a throw, what a catch, first down. We're just having fun out here. Six for eight, 91 yards just in the first quarter. Here comes the T-Train, touchdown. What a baller. Trash. I don't think I've ever seen a team this trash before. Maybe Western Michigan back, when, back in the early MSU days, but man. As far as being a top caliber team, like this is, this is off. Okay, let's see what he does. Is he blitzing? Oh yeah, he's blitzing. Gain of 21 right there. Jaden Griffin's on fire. Seven of 10 in the first quarter. Another catch by Jaden Griffin. Oh, he's got the stiff arm to go with it. 23 on that one. They can't, they, this team's garbage, man. Hot garbage. Play action. Going deep. Looking for Alex Sanders. He's got him. Down at the one.
Oh, he's sneaky. He's sneaky. Oh, he's in the end zone. Touchdown. 28 nothing. Jesus, eight of fourteen passing. This this dude is trash. Oh, what in the world? What was that? I wasn't even paying attention. Did he botch the punt? Oh, Aiden Cooper's all. Oh, he's gone. Touchdown. First play. Only converted one third down today, so I have I have faith. I have faith. Oh, screen pass. Oh, you can't do that. Kenyon Wright second interception of the game. 42 nothing. Like I'm not even afraid of him on third down here. I'm just gonna blitz and see what happens. And he he throws it. He's scrambling for his life there. He botched it again. How is this even a football team? Twenty-four yards from Alex Sanders. Uh, you're not catching him. He's got wide open spaces, man. Oh my God! Another touchdown from Aiden Cooper. It's forty-nine to nothing. And we're not even at halftime. Seven on third downs. I have no words for this right now. This is purely insane. Another sack by Brody Hanno. His second sack of the game. Oh, Kelvin Wiggins. Oh, in the stride. 46 yards. 244 yards passing by And I'm like nah I'm gonna score more touchdowns <laughs> It's only gonna get worse from here Oh no We got down to the 34 yard line on a 60 yard return Oh no, 33 yard. Running bigs out here, baby. John Tolbert, the T train. 15 yards. Perfect. Touchdown. Oh, Jesus, no. How the frick did he get 23 yards on that? They got, like, you're playing UMass, dog. I don't know if I should congratulate you or if I should be like, yeah, you. this is the product of UMass being that bad. Dude, they got another one. I was playing zone, that's why. No! Come on! Are you serious? That's a joke. Jaden Griffin, baby. First down, gain of 18. Jaden Griffin, is that a touchdown? That is a, not a touchdown. Oh my goodness. Biggs versus Biggs. Tyrell Smith touchdown. Here we go. Intercepted by Donald Bailey. Turned around at the right time and got it. Tyrell Smith. Oh, he fumbled. Oh God, come on. You can you can't do that. Oh, Jesus. What the frick? How is he suddenly tearing apart my defense? To UMass. Dude, 
Dude, he's wide open. What are you doing? We're getting outscored by UMass in this quarter. Jaden Griffin. Touchdown. All right. I'm starting to feel myself a little bit here for 100. I mean, I could easily do it this quarter. That'd be the first 100 we drop on Minnesota State, though. But it would come with, like, the biggest asterisk of all time. Oh, what a catch by Alex Sanders, and what a throw. That was a dark. Are you freaking kidding me? He shoestringed me. What a bitch. Cheap ass. I'm going for it. Oh, there's Dennis Schroeder. Gain of 23. Who do we got out there? Oh, it's Henry! Jonathan Henry, touchdown! Hey, guys, defense. Something. Yeah, no. No. No, 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 no. We're going for 100. We're still going to... The dream is still alive with a minute and a half to go. I'm trying to get you to six or 500 yards passing, my guy. Oh, and he's going to get that and more. Jaden Griffin, touchdown. <laughs> and we broke the school record for the passing yards of the game on that pass. <clears throat> All I did was hot route. Threw it towards the sideline and he's gone. And that is your ball game. Final score, Minnesota State. 91 UMass 14 and that was I, I knew it was gonna be a blowout I, I mean I mean I knew kind of like UMass just wasn't up to snuff I mean they had a good showing in the second half I suppose but like man they just did not have anything going for them in like a good majority of the game we did everything we wanted on offense and you know it showed but next week's going to be a little bit tougher. We got Purdue. Purdue's pretty good. Um, so we're going to get ready for that one. But if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe. Until next time, my name is Simmons Vengeance. Peace out.